This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places. Hey guys, I'm back here after the Toyota press conference and we have Craig over here who is a national product specialist, is that correct? A national manager. National manager. Planning department, yes. So you know a lot about the infrastructure of what's going to be happening with refueling stations and things of that nature. Yes. So I wanted to ask you, why did Toyota decide to start in California? So California has really been at the forefront of hydrogen for many years now, and yeah. so it was important for us to uh, support that effort, right? Because um, Yay, Silicon Valley, that's right? <laughs> stations, uh, cars need stations, right? And yes. stations need cars. So yes. it was really a natural fit for us. But it's it's happening across the world, right? So Germany okay. is very active, and Japan is very active, and other right. parts of, of yeah. the world. So. so this is going to be really expensive to build out, though, isn't it? You know, it's uh, it's not going to be uh, um, you know inexpensive, shall we say? Yeah. Um, but it's um, there's a lot of support from the government to do this, right? Okay. Because I think that the long term prospects as a business are quite good. Yeah, um, that's so true. It'll take time, right? But uh, but yeah, it's uh, you know, today we have gasoline infrastructure, which costs a lot of money to build out. Yes. And everyone sort of forgets about that part, right? We see gas stations on every single corner right, now, right, right, <laughs> and right. there's a lot of co competition in that. That's region. right. That's right. And what we learned really from this whole experience is that you don't need a hydrogen station on every corner. Maybe 15 or 20 percent of the stations, oh. if they were converted to hydrogen, you would be able to cover the same amount of cars. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense, because this thing can also get the same mileage out of a full tank, right? Exactly. It's just like driving a gasoline vehicle. My current car gets about you know, 275 miles per gallon, yeah, or miles you, per tank. You should get this. It's going to be better. That's 300 awesome. miles. 300. That's, That's crazy. Right. <laughs> so I can actually get down to San Diego from San Francisco. You totally could, yes. Yeah, I'm so excited <laughs> about that. Now, outside of California, Japan, and Germany, I also heard that there's going to be some infrastructure happening on the East Coast, too. Is that correct? It, yes, that's right. So we're very excited. We announced a, uh, a program that we've uh, developed with uh, Air Liquide. It's a very large Air provider. Of, they're a French company that's, uh, that's a very large industrial gas supplier oh, uh, in okay. Europe and in Japan, actually. Okay. And uh, we're going to, uh, in collaboration with them, build 12 stations to support the development or the, the launch of the vehicle in the Northeast states. So yeah. New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island. And that's going to now enable people to drive sort of the East Coast corridor, if you will, down from Jersey all the way up to Rhode Island. Yeah. So it's really great. So what is my miles per gallon going to look like for this? Yeah, so we, we haven't quite announced that part yet, but um, okay. but imagine that you, you're going to be able to go you know 300 miles on a tank and we store roughly four, four and a half kilograms on board, so you can do the math. I used to live in Alaska and we had to plug in our gas car. So yeah. <laughs> what you does this do? You don't have to do that. This, this, the fantastic part about this car is it drives in all weather conditions. So it starts at up to minus 30 degrees centigrade what? and can drive in Death Valley. And in fact, when we do a lot of testing yeah. uh, up in Alaska and Yeah, what do you do with Canada, that? It's been, it, we, we let the car, it's called a cold soak, and we let the car sit outside overnight. Yeah. And uh, you know, temperatures get down you know, below minus 30 sometimes. Oh yeah, like my battery won't start in the morning. So right, in fact, a lot, of, a lot of times we have rental cars that we can't start. Yep. Um, but we go out to the fuel cell <laughs> vehicle, we push the uh, ready button, the start button, and the ready light comes on in a couple seconds, and you're ready to go. So um, same with extreme heats. Yes, yes. So it's fantastic. You know, no, uh, no, and even better than that, really, there's no degradation in performance. So okay. a lot of times you see with other technologies that um, in, in extreme heat or in extreme cold, yeah. you lose, um, you lose performance. Yes. Right? And in this case, you don't. So it's fantastic. Wow. Yeah. No, it's really amazing. In your opinion, when are we going to see critical mass in the population in our? Ne normal consumer audience. When, you, when are we going to see this become the most popular thing on the market? So I think the car is already ready to be that yeah. for most people, right? And it's going to keep getting better and keep getting less expensive as time goes on. So starting from now, it's we're on that journey, right? Yeah. And maybe, I mean, it's starting around like 50 grand, right? That's right. That's, that's right. And there'll be there'll be um, some government subsidies on top of that, so it'll cool. make it a little more affordable, yeah. right? And we've <laughs> announced a great program where we're going to provide fuel for the initial buyers um, for up to three years. Really? Um, wow. So great, you know, great way to, uh, to reduce people's driving uh, expense, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but you know, as we move forward in time, you know, the 2020s, we would expect that there will be, you know tens of thousands, you know, getting to be hundreds of thousands of vehicles on the road, not just from Toyota, but from all manufacturers. Early 2020s. I could see us having tens of thousands of those gas stations, yeah. well, hydrogen stations everywhere across the U.S. Yeah, I think it's going to it's gonna be um, very surprising to people how, how real the businesses can be. Awesome. I'm so excited to hear more about this in the next coming months. And thank you so much, Craig. It was a pleasure to chat My with pleasure. you about thank this. My pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy the show. I, well, hopefully I will. <laughs> um, no, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm Shannon Morse. I'll see you later. This episode of Techzilla Bytes is brought to you by Toyota's hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Leave your mark. Toyota, let's go places.